we went to court. We got lawyers who filed a case in court against National Council of Sports and Brigadier General of Council. And we did that with the support of the delegates. The delegates wrote to us, authorized us to go legal. And we discussed it as members of executive, and we also said they were right. Instead of them coming and taking, uh, canceling our certificates, we just end up like kickboxing. Let's go legal. At least Ugandans will know that we have tried to defend the sport that we love so much, and we defend so much. We are here to inform Brigadier General Yekwaso that she's not the president of Uganda Netball Federation. Because as Babirie, I was, I've never received any letter, not even one, either from the First Lady, or from the Attorney General, or from the IGG, or from any other government institutions, informing me either to step down, or to leave office, or telling me that they have removed me from office. I've not even received any written document from the delegates over the same. Where does she get the mandate to claim and call herself a president? She should stop masquerading. She should stop. As Uganda Netball Federation, we've been patient enough. We've been disciplined enough. I was requested to take leave such that I allow investigations to take place. I did, willingly, without any written document. That time ended. That time ended. All of a sudden, she's throwing letters on social media with no time bound. You can't say I'm an elected president. I keep out, and um, they, I, I mean, there's even no time bound. I, I, the public and the entire netball fraternity doesn't even know when they, bound, they, they, they feel I should come back. The relationships are drawn by the rules and regulations, by the laws that governs us. We don't have to be, I mean, to do wrong because we are keeping relationship. We don't have to. We don't have any issue with the Na National Council of Sports. What we are saying is that we need justice as Uganda Neighbor Federation. That's it. Because how do you tell me that not you, uh, National Council of Sports loves us so much when, they, are, when they, they, they were in the process of withdrawing our certificate? The law is very clear. The rightful procedures, the rightful reasons as in how or why the certificate should be withdrawn, which offense did we commit? That's why we've chosen to go to court. Because it is first of all unfair. We went to court. No, no, no. We went to, to IGG as whistleblowers. We complained about how we were given 186 million, and they were forcing us to account for 425 million. The report came out pinning Dr. Ogwell and telling him to refund 100 million, of which I'm not sure whether he refunded or not. But it, that alone created a big gap. So when again you take me to the same institution to judge me, will I get fairness? Will I get justice anyway? So we just lose on everything simply because of this. We lost an opportunity of hosting Africa Cup as Uganda. Therefore, we have chosen to go legal, and I hope National Council of Sports will as well be professional, not to interfere or not, not to deny us what belongs to us, simply because we've gone to court. It is true I may be on the loggers with a soldier and a brigadier for that matter. Death is, death is something that may happen to anyone, whether you're a soldier or a civilian like me. I can't say I'm, I'm going to shy away because I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with a soldier. After all, there are guns all over here. There are guns. She recruited UPDF officers who work here. We challenged that as executive, but she has forcefully kept on bringing these people here. And as of today, they are here. They, have, they carry their guns every day. And we've warned her about that, but because for her she says, She's answerable to Mama. It is the First Lady who, who gave her the mandate. It is the National Council who, who gave her the mandate. I, I mean, she doesn't want to listen to anyone. These people, she recruited them. She pays them salaries and allowances, something that is contrary to our policies, really. And 
our way of work in the Federation. So this business of being into me, I've, I've had so many people. I've even received threatening calls, by the way. I even went to police and opened up a police case. And I have that police, uh, police case file and number. So I, I can't run away because uh, some people are busy intimidating me. I have a mandate, just like the president of this country came and issued guidance. And he told us on how to handle COVID. He, di he made directives. Yes, they were hard and tough to some of us. Staying home the whole how many months it was very fun and hard to, to I mean, to, to, to believe. But he was doing his mission as the head of state, as the father of this. Just as Uganda Board Federation, we, ha we, we wish to inform you, National Council of Sports, that you are our bosses. We trust you, we, we, we respect you. We are ready to be guided where we are going wrong. But this business of, I mean, twisting our arms because we have said or told the truth about everything that is going on, it's not fair. So that's why, after realizing that there, we can't get justice from National Council of Sports, that's why we've chosen to take National Council of Sports in court and the Attorney General uh, to the Netball Fraternity to our fans, to all the players, is that we are Ugandans. The best place we can get justice now are the courts of law of Uganda. Because we are their children, the National Council of Sports, they are also their own. I think these are the most uh, genuine pe people that we, we can go to, the most neutral we can go to and we seek for justice. Because we've tried all other avenues. Somebody was calling me today and saying, oh, now you're taking sports to court. Yes, what else do I do? This is a received copy from Uganda Olympic Committee. I chose to, to quote this because I think it is one genuine entity that would share a copy to the media houses to check and quote this minute. Minute six and seven, the General Assembly appointed our bankers as Uganda Netball Federation. And some of these bankers are Stanbic Bank, Bank of Baroda, DFCU, Equity Bank, DTB. Those are the bank banks that we, we, we agreed to, to open up accounts in. We might not have opened up accounts elsewhere or in some of these banks, but this is what we agreed from the AGM. And I think it is the mandate of the Uganda Netball General Assembly, not National Council. It is not National Council that should determine where we as Uganda Netball Federation should bank. And we had reasons and genuine reasons. Actually, here there is also Echo Bank. Why should we bank with people that, I mean, we are not comfortable with? So, because of this minute, we went to Echo Bank and opened up two accounts. Two accounts. And I would like to show you the bank statements. Before that, we went to National Council of Sports. Of course, we, we write to them and they gave us a recommendation. Which recommendation, because this, all these issues came yesterday, I need time to, to trace them. Then after that, after opening up an account, it was operational. I have a bank statement with me here. This is the bank statement. Where I have marked, for instance, where I have marked, these are the, the, this is the proof that this is not a secret account. Like National Council of Sports is trying to insinuate and Brigadier General Yekwaso. This is the same account where all our clubs in all the leagues, the first division, second division, Mel's league, this is where they have been paying money for the league. This is the account where all our sponsors have been paying money. If as media you need the copies, we are ready to share them. At first, they said I had an account that I was running with my husband. I challenged them to produce a bank statement or to tell us where that account, account is and in which bank, up to now. 
they haven't brought it up. So for them, they will say anything. And the funny thing is that some people believe them. They think they are, they, are, they, are, they are serious people, and whatever they say, they believe them. We have only two bank accounts. One bank account was opened there because we were having funds. Who wanted to? There are those funds who would want to travel with the team, even locally here. As we were going for regional tours, some people wanted to, to travel with the team. They accommodate themselves. They do all that. So we said, no, let's not mix this business or, of the funds with the federation business. And that account later, at some stage, the executive agreed, now let's leave that account. Let the funds association be registered and they open up their own bank account where they are going to carry out all their transactions. And that, <coughs> that account, we stopped using it or uh, 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 transacting on it September 2022. Inviting me and the members of executive of Uganda Nepal Federation to go to National Council and discuss issues of um, uh, good governance, peer leadership, all those issues, accountability, members. These are the issues we've been discussing with the National Council since 2021. Since 2021. We've had over 50 meetings with National Council of Sports. We've had over 10 meetings with our Board of Trustees and National Council of Sports. We've had over 10 meetings with the Honorable Minister of State, both Honorable uh, Obua and Honorable Peter Ogwang. We've had two meetings with the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports, the first lady of this country. We've been uh, thrown to the, we've, they have written to the Attorney General. He issued guidance, and this is the document, over the same issues, the Attorney General of this country. They went to IGG and they used to tell us we are waiting for the IGG. The IGG issued a report. This is the summary and this is the full report. And all these were in our favor. That of the Attorney General, the one of the IGG. They took us to the Auditor General, Attorney General and the IGG again. The report was released. So I was shocked with my members of executive. We were all shocked. When we wrote to Brigadier General Yekwasu a letter asking her to account for the money that she got from government, the 960 millions and the 720 millions, all we saw, she did not respond. We held two meetings, she didn't appear. All we saw, something that would be a response, was a letter from National Council threatening to withdraw our certificate or our license. Our question is, why is it that when it comes to issues of accountability in Uganda Netball Federation, National Council of Sports are the ones to react? Why is it that they always want to release funds and then spend it or manage it or, or follow up with it and all that? Is it not our right? Is it not our mandate to ask for the accountability if you are given funds? I was given 186 million. I took a team for 21 days, a team of 27 people, and more two other senior officials. Those were 29 people. I spent everything and accommodated them, and I did everything for the 21 days I was in Namibia with 186 million. I, I accounted for the funds on the 25th of November, and by, by 9th of uh, December, National Council had responded. Since last financial year, as Uganda Netball Federation, we haven't received accountability for the 960. So is it right for National Council of Sports to receive and clear accountability that we have not owned as a federation? Is it proper for National Council of, of Sports to clear accountability of 720 million? Let it be the 960, not the 720. We, didn't, we were not part of everything. Who authorized the payments? Who authorized the expenditure? Is National Council supposed to give us money and then authorize our expenditure and then account for it? We are stuck. I mean, we don't know where to go to because we've been everywhere. Just like I've said, we've been to National Council, we've involved our board of trustees, we've gone to the IGG. We have all these reports. 
Honorable Kanusu investigated that with her team from Parliament, the Select Committee of Parliament. We've been to the Auditor General. We've been to the IGG. But still, with all these reports in our favor and pinning National Council's posts, they think the best.